everybody, it's Nick here from Bootstrap Farmer. One of the questions we get a lot is how to mount one of these hoop benders. So the nuts and bolts that come with that, sometimes they're not applicable to all situations. So I'm going to show you how to get around that and my preferred method to uh, mounting one of these. And it's pretty versatile, so let's take a look. Alright everybody, because we don't know everybody's individual situation, you could be mounting this on a fence rail, you could be mounting it sideways like this on a picnic table and bending it to the side, uh, you could put it on a trailer, you could put it on the side of a house or a barn or a big table. There's, there's just no way for us to know each individual's uh, needs. So this does come with two uh, lag bolts or carriage bolts. Sometimes they send uh, different ones, but it, basically it looks like this. The problem here and, and the questions that come up, well, how do you attach that from this side? So the way to get around that is to get you a board, lay the hoop bender on top, and drill you some quarter inch holes in there. So you'll you'll drill, you'll drill, you'll make your marks, and then you'll drill these two quarter inch holes. And then from the back side, you'll put the bolt. So it's sitting basically in there like that. These are countersunk a little bit. That way it's flush up against whatever surface you put. And so once those are installed, you'll simply Place the hoop bender on top. They'll stick out just a little bit. Screw those on and then tighten them down. And then from here, you can take this to put wood on wood, wood on brick, using uh, anchors or something like that. If you had a metal building uh, that you wanted to put this on or a metal rail, you could simply drill you some holes in advance, get you some long uh, self-tappers and just go all the way through to the metal and attach it that way. And then after you get done, you can take this off for storage. You could let a buddy use it, uh, whatever. Uh, but this putting it on this board is gonna solve a lot of problems. That way, this is nice and sturdy. And now the only thing you have to worry about is wherever you put that board. And again, as long as it's a sturdy surface, as long as it's flat, and as long as on this side you have room not only to bend the poles, but on this side you have enough room to let those things curve up. So a little bit uh, higher than chest height, you know, not, not above the neck kind of thing. That way you have enough room to get those in. All right, everybody, now that we have our hoop bender mounted on our mounting plate, which is a piece of board, uh, let's just say you were going to go up against a fence rail or the side of a barn or something like that. Uh, I did pre-drill some holes, so I'm just going to stick these uh, two and a half inch wood screws in there. And then we can bend our pipe. Okay, so now that we got this guy uh, put up, we're going to bend a pole. We're always going to start with this end first because that's going to be what's going to go in your ground post and then on the other side this is what's going to complete your hoop as they slide into each other. So you'll stick that in. If you're actually doing this out in the field you're going to measure up to the mark. Come back down and you're going to bend this down over this surface. Now these two pipes are like this and then that's going to go in between that groove. So once you get your pipe done, it's going to be really difficult to give a lot of uh, pull on this that you need, and that's why we have this extension pole. So that's going to come in here, and that's going to allow you the leverage to come down and finish bending that out. Okay, so for a lot of us, it might be easier, and you might feel a little bit better if you had this on metal. This is a, uh, a fuel tank that I had sitting around. This is a nice, sturdy stand. So because we have this thing, on the mounting plate we don't have to worry about taking these screws and have, having them to go all the way through without the length of the pole bender so we just have to worry about see it's not going to even going to uh, make it all the way so you could get a longer one but 
how far is it back to the store? We all have this problem. These are two self tappers that I had laying around. It easily goes through the uh, length of the board. So in order to keep the self tapper fresh, I do have a uh, drill bit that's just a little bit wider than that. I'm gonna pre-drill holes and that way I can make sure that this ties in nice and tight. So I'm gonna fast forward this and then we'll show you at the end. And now that all that is done, we got two screws, we've got a nice wide base frame, solid as rock, we can get to bending. So I go, I know you guys are farmers, I know you're tough, I know you guys can figure this out for yourself, but that's how we did it. That's two different services. Uh, you can do this on trees, poles, again, anything that's wide and sturdy, uh, go ahead and put that in. The other thing that we didn't talk about that I'm not gonna show because I don't think we need to is lag bolts and lag bolts could go right in through these holes, right into a solid piece of, uh, of wood, just like the wood screws did, but those are strong enough to hold it. And uh, anyway, happy bending.